Jalen Turner will now fight Mareusz Gamrat at UFC 285 in a higher-ranked opponent than anticipated, due to Dan Hooker's injury withdrawal. Turner, who is now rated number 12 in the world in the lightweight class, has all been stopped in the first or second round. Gamrat, who is rated 8th in his class, lost by decision to Benil Dariush at UFC 280 after winning four straight matches over opponents including Armin Sarukian, Diego Ferreira, and Scott Holtzman. Gamrod is now ranked 8th in the division. The main events of UFC 285 will be John Jones vs. Cyril Gain for the vacant heavyweight title and Valentina Shevchenko vs. Alexa Grasso for the flyweight championship. The current UFC lightweight champion Islam Makachev has reacted to his failure to surpass Alexander Volkanovsky as the number one contender in the most recent UFC pound-for-pound -pound rankings. Makachev recently traveled to Perth with two objectives in mind to successfully defend his 155-pound belt and to defeat Volkanovsky and take his number one pound-for-pound -pound spot. Makachev outscored Volkanovsky on all three scorecards. Makachev defeated the Australian fighter, but he was unable to overtake Volkanovsky for the top place in the most recent rankings update. Makachev's team was disappointed by the most recent rankings update, which was made public earlier this week. The Russian fighter was still rated one position below Volkanovsky in the pound-for-pound -pound rankings. Despite having claimed to be the new pound-for-pound -pound king following his narrow victory against Volkanovsky, Makachev has now said that he is not shocked to not have been given the top position. Makachev told Russian media. The road home is always good, no matter how long you fly. About the rankings, I never expected justice and still don't because we saw on the example of our other fighters like Ankolaev and Petryen, saw the attitude towards us always. The main thing, I flew 13,000 kilometers there, defeated their champion. They raised my hand and with a raised head, confidently with a belt flew home. After winning the lightweight championship, Makachev lost no time in asking a matchup with the featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky on the Australian native's home soil. Given the attention that their previous encounter's outcome has garnered, there is a chance that they will fight again after putting that one behind him. Dan Hooker charged Islam Makachev of using an IVs to rehydrate following a difficult weight loss prior to their fight. The claims have been refuted by Makachev and his group, and an investigation is still continuing. O'Malley agrees that Makachev may have had an advantage during the fight, but he thinks that conclusions about the situation should wait until the inquiry is complete. O'Malley shared his take on Hooker's accusations about Makachev. It's so stupid that it's illegal, but you're not allowed to rehydrate that way. They're trying to make it so you don't want to cut as much you should be able to. If I'm Dan Hooker, I wouldn't just make that up. That four could have very well helped him not get finished. That very well could have given him an extra boost, for sure. I feel like nothing's gonna happen unless they have evidence that he did it. If there's a picture video, you have to have physical evidence for that I'd assume. Thanks for watching. If you're a fan of MMA be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss an update. Also leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.